morning. Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church Cleveland. It is Tuesday morning. Been on the road again this week, so I'm going to do two Bible readings today, Psalm 65 and Psalm 66. They'll be in two different uh, links so that you'll be able to either split them up. You can do both today or split them up between today and tomorrow. Our first reading will be Psalm 65, another Psalm of David. It is a, a joyous psalm. It's one of celebration, talking about the Lord and all that he's done for David in his life. So if you would want to open your Bible up to Psalm 65, and you can read along with me while I read it, or you can follow along on the screen while I read Psalm 65, or simply sit back and listen as I read Psalm 65. So we'll switch over there now to Psalm 65. To the choir master, a psalm of David, a song. Praise is due to you, O God in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who hear prayer, to you shall all flesh come. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Blessed is the one you choose to bring near, to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. By us indeed you answer us with righteousness, O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and the farthest seas, the one who by his strength established the mountains, being girded with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples, so that those who dwell at the ends of the earth are in awe at your signs. You make the outgoing of the morning and the evening to shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain. For so you have prepared it. Your water, you water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with abundance. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Isn't that a wonderful psalm? Isn't it great the way he talks about uh, how God does everything in the earth? I mean, he waters the fields. He he softens the 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 um, rough edges of the earth and of all nature. It's all beautiful, and it's there to proclaim the glory of God. So. I pray that that gives you encouragement today, that it gives you hope today. Uh, remember that I love you, that I'm praying for you each and every day, and I look forward to when we're together again. Have a, a blessed and great day.